So I've been banging on about ARM on the server for quite some time and this week it actually happened. Amazon released the A1 instance type uh, which is the first time a cloud provider has offered an ARM chip. Uh, but what is ARM, what does it mean and why should we care? Well almost all laptops and desktops on the market run on something called an x86 architecture and uh, that means they can be really powerful and they can run uh, loads of cool programs like video editing and stuff like that. And practically all modern servers like this have followed suit because up until now nothing else has been there that meets their requirements. So the mobile phone revolution has done a lot for the ARM CPU. It's made it the most popular CPU on the planet and that's partly because you'll find, probably find an ARM CPU inside maybe your TV, your TV stick, uh, project boards and things like that. Practically any Internet of Things device has probably got an ARM CPU inside it. So why is it being so widely used? Well, it uses a lot less power, and in these mobile devices, and particularly the ones that are gonna be sat there on all day, like your, your router at home or your TV stick, um, power use is really important. And getting rid of heat is really important as well. And if you think of them a bit like the LED light bulb, you know, before that we had normal filament light bulbs, which were a little bit like the big mainframe of the 80s, and then came along the slightly better like incandescent light bulbs that actually did pretty well uh, for energy use. And then came along these LED light bulbs, which just blew them both away. So we think that an ARM server will give you about 60% less energy use than an x86 one. And so there's a big benefit there. At the moment, the benefit is probably only going to be seen on applications that don't tax the CPU too much. And that's because a core on ARM is currently not quite as good as a core of a CPU on an x86 architecture. But that is changing. There's a huge amount of investment at the moment in CPUs for mobile devices, and they're doing some incredible things. It's not too dissimilar to when Google decided to choose commodity hardware to build out their servers rather than choosing the servers of the day because they were dealing with scale out problems and increasingly we're trying to move to horizontal scaling using lots and lots of machines rather than one big one and that is where I think ARM is going to make the biggest difference. So really it's a matter of consideration for climate change and the future of our planet. So if you want to continue using the internet services that we've got out there in the world today, use apps and mobile phones, then we really need to think about investing in ARM on the server. At sea we use wind and solar power to power everything. But normally on days that are a bit more pleasant than today. We are experts in scaling out software products and we're really interested in what wind power and solar power can do to power those cluster computing technologies. So if you're along the same lines as us and you're interested then please get in touch and uh, we'd like to meet uh, like-minded people and see if we can make some projects happen. So I hope that that has helped shed some light on some of the possibilities um, in the future for ARM CPUs on the server. And uh, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, then please uh, like and subscribe. Um, and that will let me know uh, that uh, you know people are finding these videos interesting and to make more of them.